Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. This is Alex and today we're doing a full tour and kind of vlog of Six Flags Fright Fest at Six Flags New England. If you're watching this in any year other than 2024, it's going to give you a good approximation of what it looks like because they don't change much year to year. I'll show you where the shows are because I'm not sure if those shows stay or not right now. It's like the opening ceremony right here going on. I believe it starts every day at 6 o'clock, but there is Fright Fest entertainment throughout the day as well. Oh, look at that. So, uh, the majority of the haunted attractions are back in the catering area, which is kind of right by uh, Looney Tunes Movie Town. Or it is by Looney Tunes Movie Town. Main stage here is the Midnight Uprising show. Uh, houses do cost extra. There are plenty of places around the park to get your wristband. Be sure to do that early on because you can get quite a little bit of a line once the maze is actually open. So save yourself some time. Back here we have Slasher Circus 3D, Nightmares, Terrors of the Wicked Woods, and Camp Kilmore Summer Camp. So very cool. It's, it's a very woodsy, nice area back here. Uh, there is a fifth house up by Houdini or the Tomahawk Ride. We'll do that as well. And I think like seven scare zones. So we'll check all those out. And I can take you inside the houses. So I'll show you all of them. This cool whole bridge is vibrating. So how this is just to get here a little early, get into the first house and then move on back to the other two. Seem to open a little bit later than the other two. And then, uh, woo, that is very vibrating. And then the house up by Houdini does not have much of a weight, it doesn't seem. First off, getting this bloody fountain photo off. So, let's go. Very excited to try this out. I've been wanting to do this for quite a few years now. Thankfully, they allow in huge groups, so the lines shouldn't be too bad. Very nice to see. If you're here for scares, though, it will definitely not be as scary, but I'm not really here for the scares. I'm here to see what they got going on and hopefully get through it really quickly. All right, here's my second walkthrough. Unfortunately, no... Jeez. Hi. It's her. circus uh, very basic design as far as you know just lots of uh, plywood walls so a big maze really good like painting uh, with the 3d effect using the glasses really like that uh, scares were mostly just jump out at you very little props towards and they had some like a car and stuff like that uh, very basic though um, overall I mean it was good I wouldn't say it was bad it wasn't very intricate um, I give it a, it was very average. I give it a five. Uh, scares were fine. It got me two times, so that's good for me. Uh, usually I do not get very scared at uh, these things anymore. So um, I guess that's a good start. So mazes did not open until like about 6.20 because uh, I think they were off doing their little show. 
the awakening and unfortunately these houses back here still are not open and it's 6 30 with three hours only to operate can't say i'm a big fan of that all right terror trails from the wicked woods gonna be your renaissance fair in the woods let's go all right we're entering into the castle to add to my creation, which is right there. <laughs> <laughs> and old slide pieces from water slides. They do it at the old holiday in the park decorations. They live another life as a scare house. Did you say what is that? Angel, what the hell? <laughs> Sausage. Oh, and there's the connected river right there. That's pretty cool. Seven dwarfs. Secret of the fox. Welcome to like 15 years ago. Into the corn maze we go. You know Crow's chainsaw guy or woman. What the heck? I was not expecting that. This is not the proper place for a chainsaw person. This is Spencer. Do you want to meet Spencer? Oh, Spencer. Yeah, Spencer's pretty friendly. Bye, Someone has mommy issues. <laughs> the Queen's End. Hello, Captain Obvious. The uh, Wicked Woods. All right, time to go to camp. 
It's drop off time. This doesn't seem to be going too well. Oh, it sounds like they may have chainsaw art going. That's a fun activity. You can carve some stumps into some forest animals. Play on the uh, old school playground. That's fun. Look at all this fun. Really? Oh, oh you're going to love it here. Oh, oh you the water look at some of the campers. Oh, you have to try it. They look like so much fun. Bonfire. I always loved the bonfire. That was fun. Fun activity at the end of the uh, session. You really want us to drink the water. Oh gosh. <laughs> Good. The ground literally just fell out a little bit. That is so cool. The lake is closed. Dang. I really like sailing. Seriously, it felt like you were like stepping onto like a mattress, basically. That's really cool. Oh, there's hiking trails. Fun. <laughs> Ooh, food. Ah, the raccoons got in there again. Dang. Sure, that was the same chainsaw instructor. Capper cabins. Oh. These look nicer than the ones I used to have when I was little. They look somewhat less rustic. Oh, uh, that never happened. No. Eh, no spirits. Oh boy. There's the chainsaw instructor again. He really wants to make sure that you uh, master your craft in carving those woodland characters. Skull cavern. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, we're going to the water. Go get the water. Drink the water. You gotta try the water. Enter the caverns and, and drink the water. No, drink the water. Oh, hi. Oh, I lost track of where you are. So I had no idea both of these were trails. Uh, so Twisted Trails, The Wicked Woods, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I liked how it was a Renaissance Fair theme. I don't feel like I've seen that many of those, uh, having done well over 100 houses, maybe close to 200 at this point. And uh, so that's a really 
underutilized theme. And then the summer camp, also kind of underutilized, which is kind of surprising considering Jason. So good effort. I think they do pretty good with scares for the most part, sometimes not so much. They're not as scary as a house is gonna be because you're not as confined if you're just not like on edge. But Swiss and Tails, I think I'd give a six and uh, I think I'd give them both of them a six. Yeah, I, I'm not saying they're bad at all. I'm not saying they're excellent. I'm saying they are extremely average. I have no idea how old some of these are though. Try to research that and that will be shown in the lower left corner as I introduce the houses. <laughs> We got a waterer. I'm not saying anything because there's nothing impressing to really say anything. So that's why the commentary is very um, absent. Lots of black walls. Okay. Can't do the thing? Not doing the thing. Jump scare. All right. All right, Nightmares was absolutely terrible. It's the worst one by far, and you had to wait for the longest, so kind of makes it not like worth it at all. Uh, if it has a long line and you just don't care about doing all of them, I highly suggest skipping it. I waited like 40 minutes, and it was it worth it. The other ones were worth more time, but yeah. And just quick note, uh, the, uh, oh, she's out here now. You're everywhere. You're breaking the rules, you left your house! And uh, Slasher Circus, they uh, weren't giving out the 3D glasses on our second run, so maybe they only came out at the beginning of the day, which was like, I don't know, a few dozen. So it was definitely not as enjoyable. So um, I guess either get here early and do Slasher early, or uh, bring your own, they're the like standard little paper 3D glasses. So uh, yeah, so uh, rankings I would say, uh, I would go with the tail trails first, uh, then I would say the manor, uh, followed by Camp Kilmore slash your circus, and then uh, nightmares. So these two are the weakest over here. All right, um, let's go show you the scare zones. We are gonna go clockwise around the clock, starting from where the mazes were on the other side of the kids' area. So right by Pandemonium and we're Necropolis, Souls of the Dead. So, like, zombies? I feel like a lot of these scare zones are not man today. So yes, there no, nobody in here unfortunately. So I assume occasionally there are people who will jump out of here, but uh, not today. I do like that they renamed some of the rides. The Soul Harvest Spin is Pandemonium. That's kind of fun. That line is not fun. 
So Viva Airlines can get very long during Fred Fest. How does just come on a Friday or a Sunday and definitely skip Saturdays. Like, it's not going to be a fun time. Over here is going to be obviously the Wicked Cyclone, which is the best coaster in the park, best ride in the park. Not debatable, just the way it is. But the New England Skyscreamer uh, goes backwards, as you can see right here, which is really spooky and scary. If you're uh, really not into this ride, you're definitely not going to be into this ride going backwards. Uh, provides a fantastic view during the day of all the fall foliage later in the Fright Fest season, and fantastic view at night of all the lights and fog and spooky stuff. And here is Soul Harvest, which is uh, like a corn themed scare zone. Once again, um, no scare actors. Oh, there's one solo actor. Oh, there you go. There she is. She's, a, she's like a scarecrow looking person. So, you've been too, too scared. Oh, I got another one. Shuttle lady. They've been doing this for like a month and a half now. That's not gonna scare him, buddy. You gotta do better than that. All right, All right we're gonna head up to the cracks, Axel Canyon, and it has the uh, final house that we have yet to come to. I uh, probably already edited in. Yeah, I already edited in the other house just to make the video a little more concise. Right, let's go right. And remember, there is going to be a new roller coaster in the old Goliath plot right here, uh, Quantum Accelerator, which is a straddle coaster. We'll have plenty of videos on that when it opens. So be sure to. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff, because we'll have videos in the near future, whenever that opens next year. Here is Wasteland. Obviously a uh, fallout, plus lots of political scare zone. Huh. Hi. I want to get that checked out. No? They don't want to play. Yeah, just like jumper suits. Mm. If you want to be creeped out or jump scares get you, then this is for you if you want to have a little more of the theatrical. I don't think so. Uh, also, rename the bumper cars to Rage in the Cage. That's fun. And they have this zombie assault vehicle here, which is literally half a vehicle. Does it do anything? That's pretty, that's pretty brutal. Oh, it chuckle. Oh, okay, it a little bit. All right, up into Cracks Axel Canyon we go. And our final house, all by itself, this is gonna be the Midnight Mansion. And the line is absolutely terrible. Oh boy, it's okay, actually. That's good. And the Houdini is still open while Midnight Mansion runs. Very good to see that. Huge line from the Houdini. Love seeing that. Other than that, don't touch our stuff. We don't touch your stuff. We don't touch the Blackbird's stuff. So good? You guys, go. And go. <laughs> Seems a little trapped there. Are you gonna stay? Can I? Stay with us! Okay. <laughs> she had like a third eye in her forehead. Oh. Hello. Look at all your friends. Ah, Jesus! Candy? No, I'm good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of soup. Or being part of it, either. Uh, sacrifices? I like sacrifices. Who are we sacrificing? Who are we sacrificing? 
What are we sacrificing? I'm not that old. Hey. That's the 13s. 13 on 1, 13, 13, 13. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good spring when I hear mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not over yet. Okay. Oh, chainsaw. Hi. <laughs> and we're at the back UD. <laughs> All right, Midnight Mansion. Started kind of weak, but then got really good uh, with the scenery and the actors were really good. First, not so great, but then someone really got into it. Said, if you, they see a camera, it seems like they really like to interact with you, which helps my experience, helps your experience watching. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that they allow you to do that without a flash. That's very nice. A lot of parks in the East Coast do not allow that, so. Uh, great to see and be sure to do the Houdini while you're here. I would but we have one back at my home park That's occasionally open, but we got more to do and I want to ride with Psych Bone and the other vlog that we have recorded today So go check that out the, the, the daytime video uh, had a great time here It's the first time here in like nearly three years. So had a lot of fun Here's the steampunk area. I love the steampunk theme, but I've never seen it done very well in horror so Let's see how they do here. I do love this chainsaw guy. I do love this animatronic. It's freaking awesome. With the, the coffin and the zombie on the shoulders. It's freaking awesome. So they have really cool animatronics for sure. Where is our scare? Oh, there are our scare actors. They just have chains and walking around and, uh, okay. Hello. That's cool. I just don't think steampunk does very good for a scare zone. Uh, so, scream punk, probably my least favorite of the scare zones. We've got a show right here, front and center. Warts use color films. I'm not sure what it is, but this one's probably easily to miss because you have to actively be leaving the park before the park closes or uh, come and check it out. Let's uh, see. Okay. I love their chainsaw people here. And here is Scream Hollow. So obviously we get like a New England themed Scare zone. This is pretty cool. Fits the area very nicely. Ooh. There we go. Very cool scare zone. Oh, to the right, when you're coming down Main Street, the only thing you're going to have is Rockville and Carn Evil, and then there's also a theater that has a show. Oh, it's just straight down there, below the very illuminated advertisement. So we are, we got some clowns. They were out earlier today for photo ops, and not scaring you. We got runners! More chains. Every scare zone has a chainsaw. Chainsaw guys. I love it. Oh, it's a problem. Oh my god. Thing. 
She did the thing. That's Carnival. Uh, last one's gonna be Demon District down in the uh, DC area. So uh, let's go check it out. And our final scare zone is gonna be the Demon District, which I don't know if there's anybody out still. It's only a few minutes before closing. Craziest thing here is uh, they have the old Goliath trains all lit up. And that's about how you felt when you rode this ride with those trains. They were terrible. It looks awesome though. So that's it. That's everything. I'm gonna go ride Superman. I'll tell you how it is in the other vlog. So go check that video out. But um, Fright Fest at Six Flags New England. I think they do a pretty good job. Scare zones are better than most, I'd say. They're decent enough. Uh, lots of chainsaw guys, so that's fun. And then uh, the houses are all pretty much average except for the nightmares, which is pretty terrible. So yeah, I think it's worth the extra cost for the mazes. You're not gonna be compelled to probably do them more than once, however, though. So uh, I don't think Express is really all that necessary if you're not looking to do a lot of goes in it or a lot of rides during the course of your night. So if you just wanna do the houses, just get the regular one and wait for a little while. So that's everything. If you want to go see other Fright Fests, we have ones for Great Adventure, Great Escape, Magic Mountain. So go check them out. And thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.